Today, we're gonna continue our adventure of getting ready for this baby by doing a stroller review. The cost of this stroller is $395. Now, comparable strollers like the Uppa Baby one are upwards of $1,000. So we figured it's worth a shot. We're gonna see how it does. We're gonna see how it does. Hey there! Welcome back to the channel. It's been a few months since we've talked about this bad boy. Let's jump right into it. Um, we're gonna catch you up on if we enjoyed our Mockingbird stroller or not, and we got some accessories to talk about. So let me get this folded up, let me get this cleaned up, and I'll be right back with you on Couple of Corsies Reviews Baby Things. Alrighty, like I said, welcome back to the channel. Now, about six months ago, uh, just before uh, Connor was born, I did a review on setting the stroller up and kind of our initial thoughts of it. So if you missed that video, check that out. Um, I'll leave a link up the top and also I'll leave a link in the description. It just shows how quickly it is to set up and um, all that kind of stuff. Make it short, we're liking the stroller so far. It's got a lot of accessories that are nice. It's got big storage area and I'll go through all that real quickly. Um, but just to recap a few things, the Mockingbird stroller itself, and this is a, a single to double conversion stroller, is 450. Now for 450, uh, it includes the stroller base, it includes this seat, Includes the sunshade, and then this little bag itself. It does not include the cup holder or this parent organizer. And I'll go over those in a second. So, I guess first thing I want to say: this is a very durable stroller. The wheels on this are nice and big. Um, we did go to a festival with this, and we were able to drive off on the grass with really no issue at all. Um, suspension on this also is very nice. Whereas we live in the city, so sometimes the, the sidewalks. Um, are kind of bumpy. We've had no real issues. It's hard to see here, but I got some other video that um, rested my suspension. And I think it's pretty smooth overall um, as you're walking down the sidewalk as well, too. Um, it's my only complaint, let's call it, was get out of the way right away, is the size of it. Uh, when you fold this thing down and say travel with it, which we did when we went to Arizona, this is the big stroller. Um, but it is a big stroller because this, this compartment fits so much stuff. Uh, we went to the zoo with Connor and we had a diaper bag, a pump bag, some other stuff. And we had stuff hanging off the side off of here. I'll show you a photo of it. But it fit everything. We had plenty of room with him. So that's the only complaint. It is, it is a little bit bigger stroller. I guess let's do that now. I'm going to fold it up. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like folded up in the bag just to give you a size. So just fold down like this. One thing we did notice when traveling, uh, it is a lot, it does fit in the bag a lot better if you take the wheels off. I'm not gonna do that today just because you get the point that it is a big stroller. It does come with this bag. This isn't necessarily like a carrying case, it's more of like a storage bag. So here it is in the bag. The seat does make it a little bit harder to fit, but I think it does fit with the seat in. Like I said, we did, when we went to Arizona, we did use this as a travel bag, but if you are gonna travel with it, I would suggest something maybe a little bit more durable. This is more, maybe to store it. Let's go over the seat quick before I show you the other accessories. Now we just started using the seat recently because Connor um, was able to, to lift his head up and use it. So on, this, on the back here, there is a lever where the seat folds flat. There is a way that you can uh, have, have like a newborn insert and you could use your seat like that, but we had a car seat attachment, which I'll show you in a second. So, Connor, since he can hold his head up more, loves sitting in this seat, it's a little more freeing. It's got this nice leather bar here. Now, on the Mockingbird website, you can get uh, different color awnings with your seat, different color of this inside part. Also, you can choose either leather or uh, for this part and the handle in the back. So, the seat fully adjusts, as you can see. These are nice comfy straps for them. This awning comes down pretty far and there's different pockets both in the front and in the back that you can check on your, on your baby as well. And then this foot part goes up or down depending on the size of the baby. So on the back, here's that bar I was talking about. This bar is fully adjustable. If you just hit these sides, you go up, it can go down. 
The one thing I was concerned about is we watched a review on a, um, on a lady who was probably about my size, was having trouble with this bottom bar where the brake is. Her foot kept hitting it. But I have found that this is a nice adjustable um, handlebar that no matter what, sometimes you'll hit this, like, like I have kicked this metal bar before, but I haven't necessarily hit, hit this middle brake at all. So next, let me show you the stroller attachment. Sorry, I meant the car seat attachment. So, all the accessories on the Mockingbird stroller, there's a button on this side, there's one on the back, they come off like that, you push the two buttons, and everything lifts off very easily. And this is the car seat adapter, it's $45, and you can get it uh, customized for whatever your stroller is. So, just like just like the, uh, the toddler seat, it just goes in like this. And it was really nice, when Connor was younger, is we could just take him out of the car, just plop them right in here, and we were good to go. And we just fold this down, and we can use the canopy of the of the car seat, and we're on our way. Now that he's older, obviously, he wants to be looking around and seeing more things. So um, that's that. And this, I will say, does obviously help it uh, fold up nicer if you're trying to get it into some kind of bag for travel. So next, I'll talk about the, the carriage here. We actually got this as a gift. The carriage is $110 and kind of mimics a bassinet if your baby's sleeping in one. So this is nice if we're going to places for like an extended period of time that he, he didn't want to be in his car seat, he could nap. Um, it's really comfy in here. Nice lie flat seat. Um, this fully adjusts, can go down or can come all the way up just by pushing these buttons. There's air holes here in the back to look at it. You can air hole on the side here if it's, you know, say summer. This also does come with a sunshade, which we kind of just leave attached to it. And we use this a lot if we were going for walks because this thing is very breathable um, and it keeps the sun out of his eyes. So, like I said, this worked really well. And then one time in a pinch, uh, we actually used this to change his diaper. We just put his diaper pad thing over this and it worked out great. Uh, the next thing is the cup holder. The cup holder is $20. And this is very simple. It holds, you know, water bottles, wine glasses, if you have the to-go ones, the Gettys, all different size shape things because it is uh, flexible. And the last thing is the parent organizer. This thing's been really nice. It's got three compartments in the middle and it's got a pocket um, in the front of it of it too. So you have a keys, wallet. Uh, it does hold water bottles or other uh, drink things as well. So there's a lot more accessories that you can get. You can get a uh, rain shade. Um, you can get kind of some more foot warm rest for your kid. You can get like hand, these like mittens that come out for the winter if you want to go for a walk. Um, all different types of accessories on the Mockingbird website. If you do have an interest in purchasing it, um, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, it takes you to the website. Thanks for watching. If you got any comments about it, if there's anything maybe I, I kind of glossed over or anything I didn't mention, just leave a comment. I would love to um, answer all your questions. So um, that's all I got for you this one. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.